Hello guys and welcome to a brand new video. Today I'm here with Attack on Titan the final season part 2 episode number 11. Okay, the previous episode um we were involved with the whole flush situation uh where Armin and his team makes a plan as to how to actually distract them, get the boat, get the hostage and get out of here. So there was like a, this plan was a little bit tricky one because they were taking the like you know uh, Kiyomi I think that was the name I always forget her name yeah Kiyomi uh, you know the Azuma Bito that lady um her hostage and at the same time they had the engineers who made the boats they are also taken hostage uh, and at the same time the boats were like you know just like you know, kind of put like, you know bombs were put in it and if anything happens they were going to, they were going to blow it up. And everything will just go you know like the, the plan won't be able to be fulfilled so um now at first uh they like armin and connie had to do the what can i say the toughest part of this mission they actually went and tricked them and you can say like you know in front of their former comrades they had to betray them and lie to them and by the end of it, like, you know, everything kind of went down in a wrong way. Um, you know, uh, Arm, uh, Annie and Reiner had to become the Titan form and, like, you know, they attacked. They had to, like, you know, stop them. Uh, while at the same time, Flosh was, like, you know, like, ordering everyone to shoot and kill them. And Armin and Connie had to take the toughest decision. They, unfortunately, they had to kill the, 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 those two guys. I, I, I always forget their name. Um, their former, former comrades. And that was like the toughest part of this mission. And uh, yeah, Berthold, like, you know, like by the end of it, Armin gets flashbacks of Berthold. Obviously, because Armin was the one who is very closely related to Berthold, if you know what I mean. And uh, yeah, like now he realizes that he was at the same place at that moment. And you have to get your hands dirty if you need to do your stuff. So. Uh, that was a sad one oh my god and uh, yeah i'm guessing after to, uh, like you know uh, they're, they're going to escape through the boat now and try to track down Aaron. so let's see what this episode brings i think this is the penultimate episode the next one will be the final one i don't know how it will be the final one like I, like I went and checked my anime list and i think it's like 12 episodes is written there so this is 11. so how are they going to end this in two episodes i don't know let's see like you know maybe in this episode we'll understand so yeah without further ado let's get started this is episode number 11 of attack on titan the final season part two so i'll bring the subtitles and the timer here sync it to whichever is your preference and let's get started all right here's a countdown three two one go <coughs> Hmm. Nothing can take the violence out of people. Ah. Oh my god. Oh no. Oh, they had to. Th oh my god. Ah. Oh my god. No, oh, that scared me. Ah. Okay, I think we should get the boat and run, just. My god. Yo! Oh! Where's Flosh? Wow, there's a lot of reinforcements. What ha what's happening? Oh no! 
What? Oh, what? Ha Yeah. Yeah. Oh no. Four days. So, we are going to lose something within these. Ah, oh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, like that's the big thing. Like, how are they going to? S okay. Marlin Costa. Oh, no, hangar. Okay. Okay. can get to there before okay so we can save the people there it will stand for half a day okay well okay i think we can uh yeah All right. Okay, this is a another like a problem I was not expecting. I guess it makes sense. Like, yeah, like. Ah. Uh. So wait, what are they going to do? They're going to take the boat, move to that coastal city, hope hoping that it's not it doesn't get flattened within that time. I'm guessing after reaching there, they're going to save the people over there and start the servicing or something or is that what they're planning, I guess? Okay, I'm sure I'll get, I'll get to know because the, the plan, I'm still not clear about it, okay. Because, so wait a minute, so are they going to, no. Like they said it's going to take at least half a day for the servicing of the airplanes. Um, so I guess they're going to start servicing it while it's go. Oh no, I don't know. Okay, le never mind. Let's let's see because the, the plan is still not properly clear to me. <laughs> like anyway, the the main thing is they're going to that that city, that coastal city. That's the main thing. So yeah. Okay, retrospective. All right. Ha, oh, my God. Oh, Mikasa. On the mic, yeah. All right. Okay. <laughs> the way they're running, I'm sorry. Okay. Yeah. Defend them. Defend them. 
Yes, there you go. Woo! Oh, Flosh, here you go. You're gonna get a beating now. Oh my god. Oh my god, he's trying to read the... Oh boy. Flosh is a bit too intelligent, I think. Oh damn. Oh no, 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 no. Oh. Damn, this is... Oh, in the, the nape, yeah, 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 the nape. Oh my god. Oh! The shooting, the... the... Oh no. Run, 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 run. Oh no. Ah, the face. At least it's the face, not the name. Oh my god. Run, guys, these guys. I guess they're normal citizens, so. Oh, wow. Wow, the way he's, I guess, that's the only way to make them. Ah. Oh no, is he going to? I feel like Falco's going to. Yeah. Oh no, this is the first time he'll be. Yeah, never goes well. Ah. Oh. Oh my god! Oh. Oh, that's funny. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, what? What's happening? Who did that? Oh my god, he's trying to. Oh no. Wait, who shot? Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Oh my god, yo, no, 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 the name, yo, move, move. Okay, I was going to say that like, they could eject now, but I guess it will take time. Oh boy, Connie. Ah. Oh my, yo. Oh. Yeah. Oh, there you go. Peak is here.
nailed the card with hundred. Oh no 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 no! Okay, at least, yeah, she she can run quite quick. Damn! Look at that. Like, what the hell are we supposed to do now? Like. Oh no, he's going. Oh my god. He's going. And he's going. I, I really hope he. I feel like he's going to go berserk now. Yeah. Yep, he is gone berserk now. Oh. Damn, he looks really cool. Yeah. Just stay away from Falco for now, at least. All right. Oh, damn. Yes. Come on, come on. Get him, get him. Oh, my God. Oh, no, 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 no. Come on, get his hand, get his hand. Chop his hand off or whatever. Like, it'll be over otherwise. Oh, but it's gone. Oh my God. Oh, his aim kind of. Wait, what happened? What was that? Oh, I guess the the aim kind of. My God. Ah. What the? Okay, Mikasa. I feel like Flock's still alive, like, you know, he, he got his hand shot, I'm sure he can swim, he probably is going to sneak in onto the ship or something, I don't know, I feel like he's going to do that. Um, oh no, we still need to stop him. Wait, who? Oh, no, 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 no. Yeah, yeah, we need to slice and bring him out. There you go. Nice. <sighs> I, f I feel like Flosh is still alive somewhere. The holder air. Uh, I'm having a bad feeling about it. I still feel like Fall Flosh has somehow sneaked in. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh god, I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Who the? Oh, wait. Okay, he's, he's, he's a friend, I, I think. I hope so. Otherwise. 
Oh, he's the one. I was wondering who. Oh, that's why. Oh no, I don't know why, but I'm getting a bad feeling about this. Thanks. God damn, why? Ah. Oh. Yeah. Hero. <sighs> yo, 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 yo. Oh, no. Hell. Hell, mother. What? Oh, no. Okay, well, I don't. <sighs> like, I guess they didn't have any choice. Like, what would they do? Well, otherwise, like, you know, like. They had to be there. Otherwise, who would light the fuse and the ship would have been taken. And it's impossible for the two of them to defeat all the soldiers there, you know. And even if they like, you know, hold themselves up and try to stall for time, eventually the ship would have been breached and yeah, they wouldn't be able to like you know do anything. They sh it would probably like you know delay them a little bit, but they would still take the ship and follow you know like uh, um, Mikasa's team to sink it, trying to sink it. So this was the only choice, I guess. Oh wait, there's still something left.
Oh no. No. Oh my god. Yeah. Hmm. Resting us to Oh yeah. Oh. That's the end. Now, okay, so the next episode will be the final one i don't know how I, I i can't i can't figure out how will it how will the story end in one episode or are they like going to do like a movie or something after this i don't know like because i i'm pretty sure this will have 12 episodes so anyways we'll have to wait for the next episode i guess to understand what's happening now uh, like you know this this whole thing of like I've said this before as well, I really don't like death in anime. It's it's really I I really am I don't appreciate that. Like in however form it is, like I've seen a lot of people talking about how ah oh, how like you know it would have been better if this character died instead of having a plot armor. And I I always I don't know why I always disagree about that because for me I really don't like seeing death in anime. Like in, for any characters who are you know like we who we have bonded with and spent a lot of time with who has like character development like any main protagonists or uh, you know main supporting character main characters uh, if they're like some characters that we met for one or two episodes they die i guess i guess that's okay kind of because we don't have like an emotional bond or an attachment to it but still like you know like this this whole thing of you know killing off characters it it never sits well with me because you know like i i don't know i i get this weird feeling of like you know how the author just as i said this is just my opinion how the author just kills them for the sake of plot like it, it doesn't sit well with me anytime because <laughs> i don't know like like what can i say like it never sits well with me like for example let's see this scene today's episode there was a ship there you know which would be able to go and follow our main like you know uh, like you know our main group and it had the potential of sinking the whole thing that's why magat and um keith they both of them had to stay there light the fuse and sacrifice themselves now as i said the whole situation you couldn't do anything you had to like you know like keith and magat had to do that because as I said, like you know, there's a lot of people there, soldiers that they they couldn't defeat all of them. They couldn't even stall for time because they would like you know sometime soon breach the whole thing, probably kill them, and then take the ship and sink the uh, like you know like Connie's uh, uh, group. Like that would happen. So they had no choice. And to light the fuse, you know, you had to be there. You had to light the fuse, and it would blow up. So there was no way to make another plan and you know for both of them to stay alive and at the same time to blow up the boat the ship there was no other way than sacrificing themselves that's that's like a like you know full properly writ written without any loophole a plot a story point which i appreciate 
but you know like like i'm thinking like what would have happened if the author decided not to put the ship over there at all you know because you know the author is like the god of the of the story you know he gives the characters lives and he takes the lives away as well as a god so like you know like i kind of see it like this like the author is the god of the story like he can do anything he wants to so making like you know the ship there you know and like you know keeping the ship there he could have easily didn't never could have done that you know he could have not put the ship in there at all and these two characters would have been alive so this is the thing that i'm talking about you know like just because of plot point and to show us how you know that their determination and everything how they changed this and that all of these things he decided to put the ship there so that we can get like an emotional get into another one of those emotional roller coaster obviously that would make the story a lot more as i say like an you know, interesting you, you can say it like that or a lot more tense and you know people will be sad people will feel emotional and you know like and like you know any anime that is able to make people emotional is a good anime in my opinion so that's the thing so just because of that the ship was there i feel like and these two characters got killed off so as i said you know as i'm a type of a person who don't appreciate death in anime i feel like this could have been easily avoided if the author just decided not to put the ship there at all as i said I, again as i'm saying this is just my point of view my like you know the way i'm seeing the whole thing and this is one thing that i really don't i would say appreciate and again as i'm saying this is just my opinion this is just my um thing like i'm pretty sure a lot of people would say that oh like no this is like you know like better in this way or like oh there was a point in putting the ship over there and um i understand i understand all of those reasons but this is just my preference you know i i really like you know i would prefer an anime where no none of the main character dies you know with a bad story than an anime which where all of the main character dies but with an amazing story i would love that and uh, i would say that you know like the, the, this this whole thing of oh any character can die any time in itself kind of gives the story a little bit of spice you know the unpredictability also kind of heightens the excitement and everything that you feel and you get more engaged into the story you feel actual fear for the characters and everything you know like oh they can die any time this type of thing it does make make us feel that and that's like you know this unpredictability in itself is also an interesting like you know thing but i've seen a lot of animes do that as well without killing off any main characters and uh anime and manga so you know like that the whole thing of unpredictability can be done even if you don't kill any main characters i don't know what i'm saying but you know this is just my preference and <laughs> I I I really don't appreciate characters dying, you know. Like like for example here like you know like uh, for example the previous episode, you know, those two characters died, you know, those two friends. Um they had a very good relationship and they were friends with Connie and Armin, you know. So, you know, it was very sad for them. But for us, we barely got to know them that much, you know. Like for one or two episodes, I'm guessing we saw them. That's why seeing them die, you know, like I felt sad for the whole situation. I felt sorry for uh, Connie and Armin. I felt sad for them. But as my like, as a person, I did not feel that much sad because obviously we don't have that much of an emotional bond or connection with those two characters. So, um, so yeah. But here, seeing Magat and um, Keith die. You know, even though we met them a lot later you know like I, I guess keith was there from the beginning but still we didn't get much episodes with keith uh but Magad, we got quite a few episodes with him but we still like you know like we we had like an emotional bond with them so seeing them die here i don't like that like this is what i'm trying to say you know it does like you know like it's kind of a weird reasoning i guess but that's just me so yeah but anyways um enough about that let's talk about this episode um this episode here we see uh uh what's that um 
Okay, uh, the fight. The fight is still happening. Um, Annie and uh, Reiner, they are fighting. And here we get to name, know an, a big information, which is it's going to take them a whole day to service the boat uh, before it can fly. Now, or like, you know, if they actually do. Oh, but with the right equipment, we could shave it down to half a day. There you go. Whole or a half a day. You know, it's kind of like that. But still, minimum, it's going to take half a day for everything to we can all the maintenance to end so the big problem here is so what are they going to do like just like defend this place for half a day that's impossible isn't it so and even like you know reinforcements are coming and this and that so here Kiyomi, i think that's her name kiyomi says Okay, where is that part? She says. Now, the actual problem here is that their main goal is to protect and save the people, people and the places which are going to get flattened by the rumbling. And one of the, those places is Liberio. I think that's what the name is. Yeah, uh, Liberio. And now, Aaron is definitely going to flatten them that within that time. So it's impossible to go there with the maintenance, like, you know, done and stop Aaron. It's impossible. So, and so what are they going to do now? Yumi, like, you know, gives us like an important information here. Um, she says, south of here in the Malian coastal city of Odiha, we own a hangar. The flying boat could be serviced there. We could depart at once towing it behind okay and complete preparations in odia oh wait so what they're trying to say is um they're going to yeah they're towing the thing and going to bring it to odia and complete the preparations there all right okay and I, I understand now all right so that's the plan but before that happens they actually need to get out of this place Flosh and all of them are trying to just kill them, obviously, and everyone's with the like you know thunder spears and everything. They're just fighting and shooting at them. Now, when they see the uh, like you know like uh, the Azuma Bito and Magat trying to board the boat, they they can obviously Flosh changes the target to them. Now, here's the thing: uh, for them to actually attack the normal people who are trying to board the boat was an interesting and I, I feel like was an uh, like a clever uh, change in plan because now the titans have to protect themselves and has to protect the uh, Azuma Bito as well and to do that they need to actually put their bodies on their line for example in the end as we see you know Reiner puts her his hand in front of them and all this thunder spheres goes and like cuts off his hand so it's a problem like this is the main thing like, you know defending someone protecting someone is more difficult than actually protecting yourself because like to protect someone you need to protect yourself as well so that you can protect them and protect them as well so a lot of people can take advantage of that like that's why in video games like, you know escort missions are a pain <laughs> if, you, if you game you'll know that escort missions are a pain and that's the reason <laughs> so like you're trying to protect them that would actually you know reduce your uh, decision making process to protect yourself so a lot of people can actually target you as well and you're going to get more damaged and it didn't help that you know these like azuma beat all of them they're not soldiers they, they actually need time to run and go and board the ship. They cannot just jump around and like, you know, dodge them things like um, Connie uh, and like, you know, Mikasa is doing. Impossible for them. They're normal citizens. So, you know, they're, they're kind of running and, you know, it's, it's taking time to do that. And Flosh is taking full advantage of that and he is, you know, like, has given orders for his... Uh, teammates to attack them and like you know like like doing his thing so <clears throat> now okay nothing much to talk about i feel like this episode like you know the, especially the the middle scenes because 
um like they basically are fighting like most of the this episode was them fighting now one thing i see here is like the way flush actually riled all of those uh his teammates up he said something about uh where where is it oh if Eren dies paradise will drown in a sea of blood the world will seek revenge and butcher your parents siblings and children which is true you know Th this is true like so obviously there will be a lot of people who would think at this moment that oh i don't want to get into this mess you know like and they would like you know lose all motivation seeing these two huge titans fighting and killing people so flosh telling this they realize like yeah we have to do this otherwise it'll just be a matter of time like if if i stop here and not try to like you know uh, like you know attack keeping myself safe my family will die later on or maybe i i will also die in the future that they're going to get us all of them so uh, that was i feel like an effective way that flosh actually riled all of them up by giving that little speech and they just went completely like you know like crazy and started attacking without even thinking for their lives and that was needed obviously in flosh's perspective because it's impossible for them to fight two titans and Mikasa Akoni, all of them at the same time. Like, <laughs> yeah, that was impossible. Like, I'm, I'm wondering what would have happened if Levi was... <laughs> if, if Levi was able to fight over here. Like, damn. Like, everything would have been over, like, in a second, I guess. Like, the way he actually defeated the beast titan, I'm like, yeah. Like, th I, I guess that's why... <laughs> that's why Levi is out of commission now. Like, if he was actually here, this, none of this would have happened, I guess. He would have probably just gone in and, I don't know, like, knocked uh, Flosh out in a matter of seconds or something. And just somehow, like, you know, like, get the situation under control. And <laughs> everything would have been just that easy. So, that's why Levi is just unable to fight now. Because him being here would actually be a problem to the plot line. You know? Like, it would be a problem. And... I don't know, I feel like, <laughs> like, you know, like, this is just my, th like, you know, the way I'm thinking this is, I feel like the author might have thought about killing off Levi, but he probably just hesitated by the end of it, because <laughs> if Levi dies, I feel like people are going to go crazy. Like, <laughs> more than 70% of the people watching and following Attack on Titan would just go completely crazy, and I don't know what they would do. So I guess, like, you know, that's why Levi was, is still alive here. Because it seems like he, he's just there. Like, you know, the, the author did, did something here where he would not be able to interfere into this whole situation. But at the same time, he will still be alive. So it's kind of like a, like, you know, like, like a compromise. Like, yeah, I'm not killing him off, but he wouldn't be able to interfere over here. Because if he interferes here, oh boy, everything will be a very easy. And, you know, like, the plot wouldn't go the way that it's supposed to go so <laughs> that that's the thing you know like when you have like an op character in an anime or a manga and like you know like and you actually need to like you know make a situation very um like you know engaging or very like you know like close you actually need to somehow nerve them down otherwise it's impossible because i remember you know like uh, i'm bringing a different anime over here Oh no, it will probably be a spoiler. Um, okay, never mind, I'll not talk. I, I was talking about slime. If you know about, you know, that you probably understand what I'm trying to say. Like, they had to nerf him down for a couple of episodes, if you know what I mean, to actually do something. <laughs> you know? So, like, just like that, you know, like, if, if, if an anime has, like, OP character, you need to sometimes nerf him down, and that's why Levi is in this position, I guess. And he just cannot do anything at this point. And we are struggling so much. Um, okay, uh, so... Uh, that's... Like, when everyone's fighting, this is happening, they're trying to protect the Azuma Bito. Uh, like, little by little, they're able to take them into the ship. And they still need to protect the ship for a moment there. So they're still fighting, reinforcements are coming, and uh, oh boy, someone took it out. For a moment I was like, who the hell took the reinforcement out? And then obviously we get to know who it was by the end of it. 
and uh, Falco, Falco is trying to do something here. He's like, yeah, I also need to kind of, um, you know, like contribute here as well. Because if Galliard was here, he would have done something. And he knows that the first transformation never goes well. So, my God, the way he's you know, kind of using the, the nail, I think, to you know, take blood out. That was kind of gruesome. Like, I've always wondered, like, how can Aaron do that? He just... He just just grabs his hand, just chomps it, and just brings blood out. Like, like this is the normal way you actually need to, like, you know, if if you need a considerable amount of blood, you need to bring it out. You need to do something like this, like you know, take a nail or something and do something like that. Like this is normal. The way Aaron does it is not normal. He just chomps his hand. Like, how's that? <laughs> Anyways, I went on a different thing. But okay, Falco here, he's. He's trying to do that and uh Jan comes in but he didn't show Jan that what he's trying to do because obviously Jan would stop him now everyone's just go getting like everything's just going down like you know Annie's head is gone you know Reiner is just falling off you know it's like everything's just like you know like, like very difficult now like and they're like shooting all the thunder spears at them and thankfully Connie comes in and he just defeats a lot of them and Mikasa also comes to help him out and uh, thankfully the thunder space doesn't go and hit them and Jan is also there Jan is like providing them support fire and uh, Peek comes in Peek starts chomping people up and like you know everyone like flushes flush orders everyone to target Peek and everyone starts shooting at Peek like this is a complete mess and uh, what do we do now Falco transforms. All right. Uh, information available for public disclosure. Enemies and allies. When titans were the greatest threat, titans were the enemy. When countries were the greatest threat, countries were the enemy. For as long as people hold firm to different beliefs, there will always be an end. Wow. Oh my God. Ah. Well, this is the truth of the world, you know. So. Yeah. This is what I was saying, like, and I, I, I remember telling this in the previous episode as well, like, as long as there will be people and as long as there will be different opinions, there will always be an enemy. There can never be peace, like, because all it takes is one person to rile up everything. Like, one person needs to do something outrageous and bam, everything just, just collapses. All the peace that we have brought to the kind of thing so that's basically it like it's impossible to ever gain true peace and uh, yeah that's basically the hard truth Ugh. all right so yeah now uh, falco transforms and uh, yeah falco looks really cool i have to say like it looks like a bird or something <laughs> you know like his claws and his beak Anyways, um, now Falco, like, it's good that Falco transformed in a place where there were enemies and like, you know, it's good that the allies know that, yeah, we sh should not go near him because he's going to attack anyone indiscriminately. So Falco goes towards uh, Flosh and like, you know, they start fighting. Like, damn, that was an impressive, like, you know, like sequence of like, you know, like Hanji just coming, trying to attack Flosh. Uh, Fal Falco also trying to get Flosh. Flosh just, like, you know, kind of maneuvers himself and um jumps up and shoots the thunder spear towards the ship um before he shoots it i think who sh who who shot him i didn't let me let me check that part okay um he gets shot who shot him was it gabi Did Gabi shoot him? Oh no no it no yeah I think it's was it Gabi? Anyways I don't know like so anyways someone shot him and because of the shot the, you know like he just wavered his aim went kind of haywire and it just fell into the ocean. Now here's the thing I still don't believe Flosh is dead. Flosh has just went into the water and I'm sure he has enough training to you know like to survive that so i think his hand got shot so 
like here's what I was thinking. I was thinking maybe he's going to somehow sneak in the boat or something, ship, and try to sabotage it from the end, like you know, inside. It wouldn't actually surprise me if he actually tries that, you know. Like I don't know. Like this is floss we are talking about. So I don't believe he's dead. I feel like he's he's just there. Like, but who knows? Like we'll see. Because Attack on Titan, like you know, people here they're quite tough to kill because obviously they are have gone through so much training and everything so seeing like if actually flosh dies at this i'll be very surprised because but you know i guess his hand got shot he's in under in, like, in the water and uh, i don't know maybe he'll he won't be able to swim and he'll drown or something i don't know but it seems unlikely he's going to die here like let's wait for it we will see Okay, now, and as soon as Flosh goes down, obviously, the leader is gone, everyone's going to get concerned, and the, the whole, like, you know, uh, thing will collapse, and here, after this, like, you know, just, like, our team starts dominating everyone, they just, you know, just, my god, that, that whole Mikasa part was just insane, he just, she just lines them up and just, you know, just put, just impales them, like, my god, what, and not only that, to, to end the job, he even, she even pulls off the thunder spears and it just lasts. Like, damn, that was something. Okay, now, time to get Flosh under control. Um, he comes in, pulls him down, and thankfully everything goes pretty well here. Uh, they are able to take out Flosh. And, uh, yeah, we are inside the ship. And uh, Magath is like, I'll, I'll protect you guys. And, uh, yeah, he's still there. So, I obviously realized something is going to happen after this. Margot is probably not going to come back. As I was saying, you know, like, I have a bad feeling. Like, I was thinking maybe he was going to get killed or something. But at least that didn't happen, I guess. He actually sacrificed himself for a noble cause. Still, you know, he died. Like, that's, that's the main thing here. Which, as I said, I really don't appreciate in animes, in deaths. But anyways, um, he... Okay, Keith comes in. Keith, uh, like, and here we get to know that Keith is the one who destroyed the reinforcement uh, train. And, uh, yeah, we go inside the ship and Keith asks what he's trying to do. Magat explains his situation. He's like, okay, we need to get this ship down because otherwise they are going to take this ship and reach uh, our main team and try to sink it so obviously that shouldn't happen so we need to destroy the ship here and now and Magat is like you should move you know if you don't want to you cannot die and Keith, Keith is like nah I, I wanted a place to I think he said something about I wanted a place to die or something and he talks about how he saw Annie and all of them, like, you know, going, you know, going away. And he realized what they're trying to do. And he's like, ah, my, my children, uh, like, you know, my, the children have grown. And, uh, like, this thing, you know, like, like, we've, we've seen this before as well. Like, Keith never, like, you know, like, what can I say? As, as he said, like, in, in, I think in season three or something said about how he's a bystander remember that episode he said how he is a bystander to everything and uh, yeah that's that's the sad part so i guess this time he decided he wouldn't be a bystander and he decided to you know just yeah ah sad so, and again, and Magath also talks about his thing. He talks about how he feels guilty about, you know, like, all these children, like, just pushing them towards war. And he talks about, like, ah, I realize now that nothing would make me, make me happier than to see these children smile when there, where there's a place there's no war. Like, that would have made me the most happier. And I realize that now. And it's a sad scene, you know, because, like, we know, we, we've seen, like, in Magath, you know, like, always kind of being a little soft on the children. Um, Gabi, Falco, you know, and, uh, yeah, like, interesting to see, like, you know, both Magath and Keith here, 
both actually you know are both of them like you know have like similar circumstances like they like you know they both care for the children that they you know like that were under them under their guidance or whatever you call it and yeah ah. and they tell the name in the end Keith Shadis was that his name Keith Shadis yeah and you Theo Magath and uh, yeah the boat boat goes down the boat gets destroyed everyone sees that yeah and then in the end credit scene after the end credit scene um they talk about how there is like you know like they couldn't do anything to save uh, liberio and he's obviously upset about that and he's like then what am i doing here then you know like my main um like you know goal was to actually stop the flattening of liberio my my family is there so that's my entire reasoning of fighting is gone now and Hanji talks about how like you know like Magat also gave his life to for the people who you know who 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 are like in the future the future generation and for them to be okay Magat understood that but he gave his life so he could push ahead and but uh, now here Annie again asks the same question like will you be able to kill Aaron or will you be able to stand there while I kill Aaron and yeah she just she just says like yeah I'm, I'm, I'm just sick of this like you know I, I don't want to kill anyone I don't want to kill Aaron I don't want to kill anyone else like this fighting I'm just tired and uh yeah i guess that's what all of what all of us feels like as i said like this, this is a sad sad you know situation and like like what are we even going to do now now i don't know if this is really the next episode will really be the final episode like how how are they going to end it like this is episode 11 so like I don't know, we, we, we still haven't even saw Aaron. Aaron is somewhere doing his own thing. Like, he's rumbling, he's, 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 <laughs> he's, he's flattening the world. And we still haven't reached him. And this is the 11th episode, and I think there will be 12 episodes. So how, how, how will this end? Within one episode, I, I don't know. So let's wait for it and see what happens. Now, okay. Yeah, this episode was sad in a lot of ways. Like we, we see like, you know, like the all the sacrifices that they had to give and Yeah, like nothing we can do about it. But yeah, that's this uh that's it, that's this episode, that's my reaction to this episode and um yeah, in my opinion, as I said, like you know, uh this is just the way I see, you know. All the stories that's why you know like i i i really <laughs> i really like it when no character dies in some anime but since this is attack on titan like i know i knew what i was getting into and uh yeah i guess i will have to accept it nothing you can do about it and uh, like who knows who else will lose like there's still the next episode left so yeah let's let's wait for it so that's it thanks for watching this was my reaction to attack on titan the final season part 2 episode number 11 if you guys enjoyed this video be sure to press the like button subscribe if you're new to the channel or you haven't subscribed comment down below anything you want to say uh your opinions and everything you know like what you felt about this episode all that stuff and yeah i'll, I'll definitely check them out so that's it so thanks for watching and I will see you guys in the next episode, which I think is the final episode of, of Attack on Titan, the final season part two. I'm not completely sure, but I think it is. So see you guys then. Until then, goodbye and have a nice day.